Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, cool lurker shows, best life source, peasants, vassals, pen pals. I'm a useful idiot. Today I want to talk about the fact that uh, the government is now revealing that they have a written confession by the Boston bomber that was found in the boat he was hiding in. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it makes total sense to me. Total sense. I mean, the fact is the Boston bombing was several weeks ago, and of course they just discovered this note. And then a guy who's uh, hiring after bombing um, downtown Boston is being hunted by a private army, and uh, he's wounded, and uh, he's hiding in a boat. Of course, the first thing he thinks about doing is uh, writing a confession. He wouldn't have done that before the bombing, or... Um, immediately after the bombing, kind of dawned on him like two days later. And uh, then he's hiding in a boat. And uh, he's hiding in a boat, and uh, miraculously there's either a pen light and a, or a pen and a piece of paper and everything he needed to write this uh, confession note. And um, of course it be, could be in his backpack. Oh no, sorry, he left the backpack at the Boston Marathon, right? So, uh, so yeah, he's hiding in this boat, and then he, he writes this confession. And, uh, and it's a good thing. I, I have no reason to question that. It makes total sense to me. And it also makes total sense to me that he, he'd want to back up his verbal confession, um, which must have been kind of difficult since he had a bullet hole in his throat. But he gave a verbal confession, and uh, they already knew that wasn't going to hold up in court. It wasn't admissible in court because he had, wasn't read his Miranda rights um, before his uh, so so-called verbal confession. So uh, so that worked out really well, but now they have a written confession, and, and it pretty much says everything you'd want a jihadi to say. So uh, so everything about this story makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of a, a story about uh, a skyscraper in New York getting hit by a plane. And this plane hit the skyscraper with such force that the fuel ignited, and it burned so hot that it actually took down the skyscraper. And um, But miraculously, in that ball of inferno that managed to take down this uh, impervious, impregnable structure, um, a passport survived the, the plane crash, survived the, the, the uh, gaseous inferno, and uh, floated to the ground to be found less than a week later in a massive pile of rubble um, in downtown New York City very conveniently, but it, you know, it must have start, stuck out like, like a sore thumb because all the other debris was white, as we remember, and then you'd see this blue passport sticking out of the sand in the middle of New York. I mean, it would be rather conspicuous. So uh, so I have no reason to uh, disbelieve any of this. It, it makes perfect sense. And uh, finally, finally, a story coming out of uh, Washington that we can believe. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.